Over the course of the last 10 years in my web design career, I've worked with hundreds of different WordPress themes and nothing compares to this free amazing theme that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So this free theme ticks all the boxes and it makes it super easy for anyone and everyone to create not only a professional and beautiful website, but also a website that is well built. Most WordPress themes out there, especially the paid ones, there's just so much going on in these WordPress themes that it makes it really difficult for you to create the website that you want from those themes and setting it up can be such a process. I know from experience, I have been there, I've purchased um, themes that cost over a hundred dollars or more and just absolutely struggled to get my website or my client's website to look how they want. Um, and there's just so much going on in the back end of the theme and it slows down the website. I discovered this theme over a year or so ago, probably during lockdown, and I still to this day am amazed that this theme is free and how much it has to offer. Yes, I said this theme is free and I am all about the free things, especially if you're just starting your new business and resources are limited. Um, just in saying that, I'm not afraid to invest in my business, but I do know that when you're just starting out, resources can be limited. So I am all about equipping you with the best free resources to help you start and create your own websites. So this theme, it's called the Cadence theme, and it makes it easy and simple for you to create a beautiful website without any coding. All right, so let's dive right in. I'm going to be sharing my screen and walking you around my seven reasons. And I hope you enjoy this video today. So I have a fresh, clean installation of WordPress here. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to install the Cadence theme. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to appearance on your dashboard and you are going to click on themes. From here, you're going to click on add new at the top. And then in your search themes bar, you're going to type in cadence and click enter. From here, you will see the cadence theme and to install it, you're simply going to hover over it and click on the install button. Okay, once it has been installed, you can click activate and then the Cadence theme is now active on your WordPress website. So once you have activated the Cadence theme on your WordPress website, you can head to the home page and this is what it is going to look like. So the first thing and the number one reason why I love the Cadence theme is the advanced header and footer sections. So this means you can create any type of header and footer on your website. Okay, so to do this, we're going to come to the customizer. So you can either go to appearance, customize or customize at the top. And I'm going to show you how you add your logo and I'm in the header section and the footer section. So once you click on customize and you hover over any of these sections in Cadence, you'll see a little pencil tool, which is kind of your edit element tool. And if you click on it, then the header builder is going to pop up at the bottom. Um, likewise with the footer, if you hover over this section, then the footer builder is going to pop up at the bottom. Okay, so let's look at this top section and here we can change our logo. So we've got our logo here and you'll simply click on the settings that then brings up the customizer, specific customizer for that section. And this is where you can select logos. So you can come here, choose your logo from your desktop. I'm going to add that in, that's a PNG file. I'm going to skip the cropping and then that adds my logo. But as you can see, it still has the title. So I can remove the title and just have the logo. And then I can play around with the height of our, or the width of our logo here. And then we can look at the mobile responsiveness as well. So the other great thing about the header 
is, the header builder is that you can move the logo around to any position by simply clicking on it and dragging it to another section. And here we have our primary navigation, which if we want to, we can simply click on it and we can drag it to the bottom below. Now, if we want to add something else, we can simply do so by clicking or hovering over the section, finding the plus icon and clicking on the plus icon. And here it gives us the option to add secondary navigation, a search bar, a button, social media links, or um, any kind of HTML. So we can add in a search box by clicking on search that adds a little search icon. We can then go to the settings that will open up on the left hand side. And if we want, we can add in a search label and we can also change the colors, padding, background, etc., of that. Now the footer is much the same. If we click on this, that then opens the footer builder at the bottom. We can change our copyright. We can also add anything to these three columns and different rows. So if I click on this box, we've got an option of footer navigation, social and six different widgets. So this is an amazing function from the Cadence theme. It makes it really easy for you to create whatever type of layout you want for your header and your footer on your website. The second reason why I love the Cadence theme so much is how easy it is to input your colors and the global customization colors. So when you are in the customizer, if you come to the general tab, you will see on the third tab below, you have colors. And here in here, this is where you can input your branding colors. And this becomes a global palette. So you don't have to keep remembering your hex codes and inputting them every time. All you need to do is to pop in your colors once and then it automatically populates. So for example, we have our links color here, which is a light blue and a dark blue. And this is pulling directly from our global palette here, which is defined there. So what we'll do is we'll simply click on the accent color. And if you hover over any of these colors, you'll see it kind of pops up and it will say accent alternative. Here it will say strongest text. So that's the strongest text on your website. And then here, these are kind of background colors. There's also a handy link here, which shows you how to use the global palette. And you can click on that link to check it out. So if we change the accent color to maybe something pink, you'll see that it automatically changes down here. Now, if you don't like that automatic change, you can obviously come in and you can change it to a different color. But if I come here and I choose green, and then later on, if I decide that I don't like that green color and I would rather have it as a light blue color, then it will automatically change there as well. So I think this feature is really handy. It keeps your website on brand and saves you time. You don't have to keep remembering your hex codes and inputting them every time you want to update a color on your website. The third reason why I absolutely love this Cadence theme is the choice of Google Fonts. So you can use any of the Google Fonts on your website. So if you come to General and you come down to Typography, then you will see here, this is your base font, so your paragraph font. You can simply select a font and if you scroll through this, you get the full list of Google fonts. So for your base font, you can basically choose any font that you would like. And for your heading font, you can come in and you can choose any Google font. And using a Google font is really easy and it does not slow down your website. And there are hundreds of different Google fonts for you to use on your website. The fourth reason why I love the Cadence theme is how easy it is to get the mobile responsiveness ready on your website. So sometimes you can struggle with this, especially in terms of the header and the footer, but on the Cadence theme, you will notice these little buttons here. So you've got a desktop icon, a 
iPad or a tablet icon and then a mobile. So if you click on that, that's then going to show you what it looks like on a tablet and you can make amends according to how you want it to look on the tablet. So if you want, for example, the row background to be a bit different on an iPad or on a phone, you can do so. In addition to that, if you come here and come to your general, come to your typography, you've got your H1 font and here you've got those little icons again and you can change the sizing of your font depending on the screen size. Another thing that you can change according to tablet or mobile devices is your headers. So you've got your desktop here. So you can see this at the bottom of the header builder. And then you've got the tablet tab. And here this is where you can change the layout of what it looks like on a mobile device. So you can of course move the logo around as you want. You can change the trigger so that can go down at the bottom. And then you can go to the settings of your trigger and you can change the icon and the design on the left hand side. You can also work on this um, off canvas sliding um, menu and you can change designs and all of that for your mobile device. The fifth reason I love the Cadence theme is actually a plugin that you can use alongside this Cadence theme that makes building your pages super, super simple. And I have done a video tutorial guide in the past, so I'm going to link to it here, and that shows you how to use the Cadence Blocks plugin. But basically, if you come to your plugins, you click Add New, and you type in Cadence, and you install the Gutenberg Blocks by Cadence plugin. and then you click activate. You'll then notice if you are in a page or a blog post, you can go into your edit and you'll see in the blocks, there are a couple more blocks and that just makes it even easier for you to create the page lay layout that you want on your website. What I love most specifically is the row layout because the row layout gives you the option to, um, to add in uh, structure settings and spacing above and below. The sixth reason I love the Cadence theme is how amazingly it integrates with WooCommerce. This is what the shop default page looks like, which I think is really simple and neat. And if you click through to the product, you'll see this is a simple product page. Of course, your image will be here, your details of your product. I love this review section. I love how it is laid out. So right off the bat, it looks great. And then if you add it to your cart and view your cart, this is what your cart looks like. Again, simple, easy, and proceed to checkout, and this looks great. In addition to that, you can come to the customizer. You'll now see once you've installed WooCommerce, you'll see a WooCommerce section. So you can play around with the single product page. You can change that. You can add um, things to it. So you can add product elements. You can also change the design. So the colors of the products, uh, product titles, the site background and the content background as well. You also have options for your checkout so you can remove fields, you can add in your privacy policy and several other different things um, with regards to adding a shop to your website. And the last reason why I absolutely love the Cadence theme is the starter templates that are free to use. There are several different starter templates that you can use to quickly and easily create your website and Cadence continually add to these themes or starter templates. Um, some of them are pro and some of them are free. So you can have a scroll through, head to their website, cadencewp.com to have a look at these free starter templates. Um, there are so many different ones to choose from. 
and the process of installing them is pretty simple. So all you'll do is once you've installed the Cadence theme, you'll simply install the Cadence Starter theme. It's a plugin. It takes a couple of minutes to install and then you can simply activate that and choose a template that you want to use. So let's say, for example, this coffee shop is the one that I want to go for. I simply click on it. I click full site um, and then I skip subscribing and I will start importing that. It usually takes a minute or so depending on the starter template. And once it has finished importing, you can simply click on your website and you have a full new website. You just simply add in the images, change the colors, change the fonts, and there is your website. So once the import has been completed, you'll get this notification that the import has been completed and you can click finished and view your website. And there we go, we have our website. All we need to do is go in to edit the page, change the images, change the colors and change the fonts and then our website is ready to go. Now, as I mentioned, Cadence has loads of starter templates for you to choose from. But I also have starter templates. So if you head to nicolatweed.com, I'll pop a link below. There's a couple of um, Cadence starter templates for you. These are all um, based on the wellness, holistic, lifestyle entrepreneur. Um, so if you are a female entrepreneur, you may consider purchasing a Cadence starter template from me. All right, so that is the Cadence theme and all the reasons why I love the Cadence theme so much. So I hope that after this tutorial video, you decide to give Cadence a try, whether that's on your own website or a client's website. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you real soon with another video.